major role in the revitalization of downtown Las Vegas. His attorney says that Shea died from injuries sustained in a house fire. The site of a youth sports COVID-19 super spreader is still open for business. This week, Placer County asked a courtside basketball center in Rockland to close down after tracing more than two dozen COVID cases to that facility. But courtside says it's game on anyway. 42 teams are expected to play in this weekend's basketball tournament. We will continue to operate with uh, the best safety practices that, that we have. Mandatory masks, temperature checks, refs wearing masks, sanitizing machines. County health departments scrambling to get a grip on a growing surge while sports facilities, gyms and restaurants continue to operate indoors. And with many heading back home after Thanksgiving gatherings, when is someone the most contagious? individuals are you know most contagious earlier on in their infection the large number of individuals that essentially will start showing signs and symptoms the large bulk 50 percent are going to be within day three to six and then that number continues to decrease to almost less than 10 percent after day 10. doctors are asking people to quarantine for 14 days if they went to any gathering even if it was small the temperatures are dropping and that means more fire risk as people struggle to stay warm it comes as we wrap up a deadly and devastating fire season Firefighters have a warning as they're taking more calls about homeless campfires. The Firefighters Union posted on their Facebook page saying they're seeing everything from small debris fires to garbage can flames right next to buildings. They worry the fires will trap people living in the camps or spread to homes and businesses. It's just the freezing weather, right? To be outside with 10 tarps and three blankets isn't suffice for anybody. Firefighters anticipate more homeless campfires every winter, but this year there's an added concern with the pandemic. Homeless advocates say more people are on the street after losing jobs, so more will be doing everything they can to stay warm out in the elements. On the fire watch, flames in Fiddletown. A wildfire torched five acres near the remote Amador County village yesterday afternoon. Investigators are working to figure out what caused it, but they're urging people to get burn permits before they start fires. Today is a historic day for the Catholic Church. Wilton Gregory will become the first African-American cardinal. The 72-year-old is the Archbishop of Washington, D.C. Are you surprised? I, uh, I'm very much surprised. I got a phone call uh, at 6.30 in the morning. That's how I found out. Since entering the priesthood, his ministry has been welcoming diversity, including the LGBTQ community. He stepped up as a leader amid the church's biggest disgrace, priest sex abuse. While leading the U.S. Bishops Conference, he championed a zero tolerance policy to remove offending clerics from ministry. With Black Friday behind us, holiday shopping is well underway and who deserves a gift this year more than our four legged friends. A new poll says half of Americans are putting their pets on their gift list, planning to spend an average of $137 on their furry friends. Dogs are expected to fetch more gifts than cats. And the most common pet gift selections are new treats and toys, followed by holiday clothing. There you go. <laughs> All right, don't forget we have antlers in the Ocho, in the Ocho, which is the 8 o'clock hour. So you can always send those pictures in throughout the day, and we'll show them again tomorrow. Oh, oh seven minutes left. Seven minutes. Seven minutes. You smell it. French fries in my air fryer. So cool. I want Jordan to try. Oh, yeah. I'm excited. I'm excited. All right. Uh, we're going to go.